personal relationships in, in any business, you know, not just in music, not just in entertainment or everything. What are some techniques that you've seen work, you know, for people who build successful relationships with their audience and eventually convert those people? So I think first and foremost, they have a respect for their audience, mm -hmm. right? They, they view it as I have a respect for the audience. I have respect for the craft. I have respect for everything I'm doing and I want to give back, right? So I'm creating for the audience. If you think of some of the best, see bands that have been around forever, right? They've created a community, the grateful dead. I'm probably aging myself out a little bit right now, but but they created a community. They created a community of people that toured with them, that listened to them. They gave back. You could come and make tapes. In the old days, it was cassette tapes that we would, you know, bootleg out and listen to. And so, you know, think about it as that. Think about that and, and just kind of building the relationship by giving, but also by asking them, right? Because people... Ascension is retention, right? Retention of an audience, you have to ascend the audience. And what I mean by that for the artist is they have to buy something. They have to purchase something. So don't think sales is a dirty word. Don't think the act of trade or commerce is a dirty thing, right? It's not. The investment actually gives them joy, right? Because of the fact that one is the neurons, right? Endorphins go off in our brain when we buy something and we make a purchase. So if you are an if you are an artist, right? So you're a painter or something, a sculptor or something of that nature, that person's going to have joy and there's going to have a story that now when they invite people into their house, they want to talk about that art, right? My wife and I have pieces of art, some that we bought by happenstance and some that we've made investments in. And we love the story of that when we're talking to family and friends and entertaining around the house or music. We love that story. So don't think that sales is a bad thing and realize that you're cheating people in your audience by not allowing them to trade with you, i.e. their dollars for your for your craft. Absolutely. And I love what you said about the importance of building community as well, because I, I was actually, I just had one of my coaching clients yesterday, one of my star pupils. Uh, I hope she's listening to this. And we were talking about, you know, the value of building that community and already like you're building that trust you're building relationships you are building this shared like sense of camaraderie and she's a very creative individual and knows a lot of very creative individuals who are her target target audience right and so by creating that trust by building those relationships it makes the process of conversion so much simpler in a sense because they're already there, you know, so they've already built this relationship. They've already built this trust. So when you have a new product, whether that's new music, whether that's, you know, she's got a fashion line, she's developing, whatever it is, like they're there and they, they're aware of it. And they're going to want to support that because they're already a part of this community. You still have to do the work to start that conversation, of course, in, in most cases, but it's there, you know, it's there for them. The community's there for you and you're all growing together you're all learning from each other and there's this value that they're already receiving before they ever make a purchase right if you've built that community and speaking of value one thing that i mean i've really been pushing lately is the, the idea of the value proposition and defining what's unique to you and you know what you said before about how you are the product i think a lot of artists you know when they start out they brand themselves kind of, they see what other people are doing and they brand themselves that way. You know, the singer songwriter from anywhere USA who goes by their first and middle name, you know, doesn't really stand out from everyone else doing that. So how important is it to really establish your unique place in the market and that unique value proposition and what your audience can get from you that they can't get anywhere else? Well, it's critical, right? And to see a sameness, uh, uniqueness is what stands out. Right. If you think about uh, my background, my passion is advertising, marketing and sales. It's unique selling proposition. You, you call the unique value proposition. Right. What is unique and, and truly unique about you and own that. Right. And just wave that flag of that. So it's critical. And we look for that in products and services that we're trying to help bring to the marketplace of saying, OK, what's unique about this and what what can we do or what can we claim? Maybe it's somewhat similar as everyone else, but no one's claiming it. Right. So how do we claim it and how do we position ourselves? And and, you know, 
I would think your audience would embrace the freak, right? And just embrace who you are and and really focus on this is who I am and let me bring that to the marketplace, right? Because um goes back to somebody that you know uh, that I mentioned before, Dan Kennedy, you know, he taught you you have to repel people, right? So you can't be afraid of attracting the right audiences as well as equally repelling the right audiences, right? And that is the most important thing that an artist could remember. I love your top student. Really, she's an entrepreneur, right? She's thinking of different revenue streams. You can think about Jay-Z, right? I'm a businessman. You know, I'm a businessman, right? You know, you know, so I'm a business. And they have to think of themselves as the business and the brand and constantly looking at how, what makes sense to my audiences. I'm building a community. I'm building an ecosystem. I'm built in my business, we would call it a list, right? Or customers or something of that nature. I'm building them. I'm adding value to their them, right? I'm dropping little snippets, right? I'm dropping a song. I'm adding value. I'm sharing about my life if that's important for them. And I think it is, right? This day and age. And I'm talking about stuff and I'm singing about stuff and I'm showing them about stuff. And then when it comes time to, you know, I've made emotional deposits, right? I've made deposits by giving them value. Now it's time for me to take it to the next level and say, okay, Here's where we're at. I'm dropping a new album. You know, I want you to invest in it. You know, uh, help me get my message out to others. Buy one for somebody else, right? Or I'm dropping a fashion brand. If it fits for you and you like my style, which a lot of you have, have asked me about, you know, I thought I didn't see that this was something in the marketplace. But it's not just that I'm bringing the fashion plan to the market, right? It's 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 now what is unique about this, right? Whether it's I'm sourcing, you know something right or it's this or it's organic or whatever it is and i don't know enough to know but you got to figure out what's unique because in a sea of sameness we all want to be around uniqueness right we all want that individualization and you have to do it um i think it's critical it's critical and i applaud you as i said in the beginning that you 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 force these conversations maybe you you drag some of your students kicking and screaming or your listeners kicking and screaming to think about it from that place and my position is it's okay. In fact, it's the right thing to do, right? If you go back and you, you know, if you look at Rolling Stone, you know, Mick Jagger studied accounting, right? Because he knew that they were going to make a, the band into something huge and he never wanted to get burnt by somebody of not knowing what was going on with the dollars and cents of the business. And so you have to, you have to have that uh, and you have to kind of make that an investment and forward. <laughs>